Hi, this is Robert Esteren here at livingpianos.com. And I have a really extraordinary Mason & Hamlin. This is the model A, but it's an art case A. As you can see with the beautiful design, the double legs. Originally, this piano was an expressive player, which was popular years ago. And it's got the original ivory keys in magnificent condition. The piano has had very minor play over the years, and it's just required a refurbishing, not a complete tearing out of everything because it plays on such a high level as you're going to hear. And at five foot eight inches, you're going to hear amazing things out of this piano. There's a lot of reasons for that that I discussed in the past about Mason and Hamlin design. And I'll tell you more about this particular piano, but let's have some music first. I'm going to start with something very subtle. This is the Sarabande movement of Bach's French Suite number no. five in G major. Oh, I want to mention to you, I'm going to Take the repeat in the first section, and the second time through, I'm going to util utilize the soft pedal, the unicorda pedal, to get a change of color. And you'll notice it's 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 like night and day. You get this beautiful, uh, beautiful tonality, and uh, so you have the first statement, and then the second statement more subdued of that first section. I hope you enjoy. Such a gorgeous move music, all based upon dance movements, by the way. The whole suite is extraordinary. Every movement is different. So this Mason Hammond, built in 1930, was at the tail end of a period when Mason Hammond was an independent company. As aficionados of Mason Hamlin are well aware, Mason and Hamlin, along with a slew of other piano companies, were bought up by the Aeolian Piano Company in 1933, 
So this was just before that period, and a lot of people have a reverence for the pre-Aeolian Mason and Hamlins like this one. And I talked about the range of tone, in no small part because the wide tail allows for a bigger soundboard than in other pianos of this size. It's got the tension resonator system, which is a metal rod strengthening it, which is why these pianos last longer than other pianos. So let's hear how it can handle some robust music of Chopin. This is the first couple of sections of his Scherzo Number no. 2 in B flat minor. You don't expect a bass like that out of a little piano, a 5-8. A piano you could fit in almost any room and enjoy that rich, robust sound, the feel of ivory keys, and the gorgeous furniture with details that you just don't see anymore in pianos. It heralds another age when American pianos were supreme. I hope you've enjoyed this Mason & Hamlin piano. Again, I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. Thanks for joining me.